posted out. I like to think that I create uh, some number sense opportunities right there in that little corner. Um, and my Ignite talk is number sense. I don't like this game anymore. And that's a direct quote from a student. You know they say fun things. I don't like this game anymore. That came to me straight from a student after doing an estimation challenge with my students. And um, each day I try and do estimation challenges with them ranging from height to capacity to song lengths to distances to money, even toilet paper. I have no boundaries here. Um, <laughs> but that's, I don't, I don't like this game anymore right at me. Um, so the student was five inches away from estimating the height of that tractor wheel right behind my son. And I was like, what? Denise, four foot one is a reasonable estimate. I don't like this game anymore. Uh, it, like I was bummed, but I had to encourage her. But um, keep in mind, this is the same kid who the previous week was like, Mr. Stadel, estimation is my favorite part of math class. Um, which, which only proves one thing, that variables are not exclusive to math. Like, like middle, middle school students, especially girls, are variables, let me tell you. Um, so uh, I had to put a time limit on my estimation challenges because they can really get rich in the discussions. And I'm not kidding you, the next day after she says, I don't like this game anymore, the same girl says, I wish estimation were longer. Like, <laughs> so I'm going to change my Ignite title on you guys and say, number stance, I changed my mind. I do like this game. Um, now, let's get ready for Emmanuel here. Emmanuel, love this kid. Um, he comes in after school. I need some help. I've got a box of 100 manila folders. I'm always looking for opportunities to talk number sense with kids. And I say, hey, Emmanuel, I need 80 folders out of this box. How can you quickly get 80 folders out of this box for me? He stands there. He goes, hmm, by fives. I said, OK. Even quicker, he says, by tens. I said, OK, so I see what he's doing. I notice I'm not asking the right question. So I said, hey, Emmanuel, how can you get 80 out of here quickly without counting all 80? And uh, I wish I could stand here and tell you he thought of that right there, like <laughs> count 20 and switch them with the 80 in the box, but I'd be lying. I'd also like to tell you that I explained the subtraction method to him, and it clicked on the first try, but it didn't. Um, I blogged about this, and Max actually followed this up with a great idea. He's like, ask a different question. Ask the kid, hey, what if you needed 99 out of that folder? So I'm asking, he, and Max's question is a simple question that I think would have extended that number sense journey for Emmanuel. So, huh, that's Emmanuel part one. But let me change my title one more time. Uh, I still like this game. I love conversations like that. But Emmanuel uh, comes after school to my class one more time. It's, it's October. The mic just went off. Uh, the mic just went off. And I'm like, hey. Week one, yo, manual. Um, guess the weight of this pumpkin. Picks it up, 60. I'm like, what? 16? No, 60. <laughs> 60 what? 60, 60 pounds, he says. I said, all right, Emmanuel. Uh, uh, you, how much do you weigh? He's like, I don't know. I said, I think you weigh about 120 pounds. Do you think that pumpkin weighs half of your weight? I don't know. 50? Uh, so I'm like, Emmanuel, um, I got a picture of my son picking up a 50 pound pumpkin here. Do you think our pumpkin looks like 50 pounds? No. Uh, 10? I said, okay. Uh, so I Google like pictures of 10 pound pumpkins and this teacher has like a, a desk full of four pumpkins. The average weight is 10 pounds. I'm like, Emmanuel, do you think our pumpkin looks about 10 pounds? Uh, five. So we got him there, but it took work and it was fun, but it gets better because that was week one. All right, and guess what? Out of all my classes, I had tons of Emmanuel guesses. Like, it was kind of shocking. The, the, we, the, the pumpkin was 3.1 pounds. In week two, I bring in a bigger pumpkin. The number of Emmanuel pumpkin guesses dropped, which was awesome, which is what I want, right? We're building number sense here, but it gets better. I had two sixth graders that guessed 5.5 and 15.9. What an awesome opportunity here. Um, I get to do subtraction and talk about, hey, who's the winner here? Who's closest? So, hey, this has been fun. Let me talk about my environmental impact here on my Ignite talk. Um, it was worksheet free, mnemonics free, and no state tests were Christmas tree. Look at that. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Um, in all seriousness, my real conclusion though, guys, is uh, please uh, use any opportunity that you have with students to talk number sense and build number sense, estimation, uh, manila folders, pumpkins, conversations. Ask simple questions that extend the number sense journey like, how can I get 99 
manipulators out of this thing and encourage students who don't want to play number sense game anymore because guess what it takes time it takes practice it's a work in process and who knows maybe they'll end up loving this game thank you